I am Aaron Galloway, an MBA student from Norristown, Pennsylvania, and welcome to SBI Nation. Today we have the esteemed pleasure of interviewing Dr. Angela Lewis, Assistant Professor of Supply Chain Management here at SBI. Dr. Lewis, thank you for coming. Thank you for inviting me. Glad to have you. Today I want to talk about the PhD project. What is the PhD project and how did you get involved with the PhD project? The PhD project is a networking organization designed to help students get through the entire process of obtaining a PhD. And when I say the entire process, I mean everything from starting the application process to interviewing at your prospective schools to uh, helping provide you with support throughout your coursework until you actually obtain your dissertation and become uh, a doctorate of philosophy in business. Then they also support uh, provide support for students, or excuse me, for f early faculty who are trying to become tenured. So it's a pipeline of support, and the, uh, the entire objective is to provide diversity in front of the classroom, so to provide PhDs, uh, African Americans, Native Americans, and Hispanic Americans, to put those faces in front of the business classroom to encourage more students to enter into the business field. And, and, excuse me, and so I actually became in the PhD project because uh, I was interested in earning a PhD. I uh, graduated from FAMU with an industrial engineering degree, but I always knew I wanted a PhD. And when it was time for me to apply, I had the fortune of having a relative to tell me about the, the, uh, the PhD project, and that's how I became involved. Well, does the PhD project address the mentality that many SBI students have where the MBA is it? So I graduate with my MBA, I move into the workforce, and there's no more school for me. Or if I'm an undergrad, I graduate with the undergrad degree, I may go to the SBI program, the three-semester program, or I may go to the workforce and then get my MBA later. Does the PhD program address that? Yes, the PhD uh, program definitely addresses that because it's understood that when you uh, start the PhD process that you're not earning a super MBA, you're earning a terminal degree and it's a research degree so it requires a lot more intensity and uh, uh, idea generation than an MBA program, which of course is challenging, but it's uh, much more than a step beyond that. Um, it also addresses the fact that sometimes there's disparities between what you can earn as an MBA versus what you can earn as a PhD. And uh, the most important thing that they try that uh, that the message that they try to get across is not only will you be able to live comfortably with the with the great salary that I, I believe is great, but you also have a chance to impact future business leaders. And I say that because you have a chance to interact with students, help them in the learning process, and even after they've gone on to earn their degree, then staying in touch with those students and helping guide them to their ultimate career goals. That's great. Many SBI students are looking to put off graduation due to the economic outlook. Jobs aren't as fruitful as they once were. They're not as available as they once were. So as an MBA student, I graduate with my MBA. How much would it cost for me to go get a PhD? The cost uh, can vary based on the institution, but usually what happens is if you are accepted into a PhD program, the department that you're accepted into will usually provide you with a tuition waiver, and they do that because they recognize that as you go through the PhD program, it's very difficult to work outside of the school environment. So they waive your tuition and then they also supply you with a stipend. Now the stipend uh, can be anywhere from $15,000 to $30,000 and it's really designed to help you with your living expenses. So while uh, in, I guess in, in hard numbers, yes it is uh, expensive because of the cost of tuition at the graduate level, but there are many programs that are designed to help students, especially minorities, who want to earn a PhD. Well, Dr. Lewis, I'd like to thank you for coming today. Thank, thank you. Thank you for your insight. 
How can okay. students get in touch with you if they have more questions about getting a PhD? Students can feel free to email me. My email address is angela.lewis at famu.edu. But first, I would encourage students to take a look at the phdproject.org. Again, that's phdproject.org, which is the organization that I mentioned initially. They also have a page on Facebook, which provides a great amount of information for anyone who is seriously interested in attending or being part of the PhD process. And they have a conference in November of 2010 uh, in Chicago for prospective students. And I would encourage all SBIans as well as other FAMUans to apply for that conference. That's great. Man. Thank you for coming once again. Thank you. Once again, I am Aaron Galloway, and this has been SBI Nation.